Hi, John here. Auckland, New Zealand. Today, 14th of July 2016. I want to make a message uh, to Boris Johnson, the Foreign Minister, new Foreign Minister appointed of Britain, UK. Government, Westminster, Parliament. To you, Boris, I applaud you and congratulate you on achieving your position as Foreign Minister. Foreign policy from being Mayor of Britain, UK. I wish to make this announcement publicly and internationally that we have a private contract with you and the British government, the British Navy and the British military with Michael Fallon, Secretary of Defence. I shall contact and also Sir George Zambellis Rear Admiral, Chief of Navy, and also Sir John, Sir Nicholas Horton, uh, Chief of the Military Army. I've written to them in the past, but I have not written to you yet, Boris, so I will be shortly after this video to make our intentions quite clear has been ongoing uh, correspondence with Philip Hammond, ex-Secretary of State, and now um, with you coming in as Foreign Minister, a change in government. He returned my emails to just acknowledge in the past our concerns about how our country is being run on a similar basis as what your country is being run, ad hoc, from the point of EU Parliament and America with the federal states influence from a higher power source, namely Pope Francis and the Vatican City private company, City of London private company. Rothschild Banks, private company, Bank of England, private company, Washington DC, Queen's private company, United States of America, private company, US Federal State, private company. So all these private companies, Boris, is tied up with foreign policies affecting all of the Commonwealth including Aotea New Zealand and Pacific Islands, who we represent on their native, indigenous tribes, chiefs. I'm speaking with that capacity to you as a customary legal advocate, native assessor of lands, international, indigenous countries, native lands. I represent those people under this flag of admiralty, court martial law. King William IV flag, jurisdiction. So, there's a number of things I want to talk about in this video to you. Since it's fresh on your mind, on your new position, and fresh on the minds of our people, in your new Britain, UK government position. Uh, we're cautiously watching, cautious in our approach to the new Britain as being currently just England and Wales. With the exit of Northern Ireland or Ireland, 
and now Scotland, going into the EU Parliament, have made their minds up. They still have two years, Boris, to file into the EU Parliament. I'm only taking it on face value that they have gone and have left a void of two countries inside the British UK government and Westminster. The intent of EU Parliament is a threatening one and conflict of interest of the Queen when she exited from Britain into the EU Parliament and Brussels. It left a void there in the monarchy as well, with her line of descent to the throne is at risk now. I note that she's the Queen of England, not the Queen of Britain UK, the two commercial countries of legal standing. I'm speaking from a legal point of view of law as far as this flag is a legal flag is concerned of its laws of 1830 to 1837 Westminster Parliament still applies for us to us the native we have not commenced to use it again it's still sitting dormant no longer silent king no longer. I'm here for us to speak as a surrogate King William the Fourth, as if he's still alive now administering our business of private contract under this flag to you, the British government, Westminster and the British Navy in particular. This is a Navy born flag. It is born our state here under the native chiefs of the Confederation of Tribes of Chiefs registered in the United Nations as such, the chiefs and tribes of Aotearoa. Okay, so that's the guts of what I want to say to you, an avid rugby player and myself a rugby player, hooker in the scrum. And uh, you as being a people's man and continuing to do so in the world stage, on a world stage from being a mayor of London to right out there in the open. I'm prepared to assist you or advise you of native affairs because this flag is a blueprint for all the indigenous native law on land, native law. It's been used and compromised in Australia, Canada, America <coughs> as being a model of little New Zealand. You can see one side to the other in one shot in Auckland as being big enough to see who's living on it and big enough to draw on paper not as much as Australia with too many people and a lot of native origins to get a drawing from each of them apart from what the Crown corporations did to my people here split them up and talk to the ones they want to talk to so I'm saying I'm talking to you as being quicker than anything else to get answers direct, straight on. Okay, uh, Boris, I don't know if you watch my videos or my Facebook site, but it's controversial, just like you, to be in the faces of people you despise or trying to get a point across to as being yourself. And what you say goes. It's the same with me. I say what I say and swear to it on this video that I, John Wanoa, customary legal advocate, sheriff, surrogate King William the Fourth, swear to Almighty God to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. All I say, Boris, is exactly true. It's up to anybody to despise or 
refute or challenge or rebut anything in writing. And that's it. I've just sworn to this video as being everything I'm saying to you. Take my word for it. There's a lot of people watching and supporting what I say and the Chiefs. The mandate has come from Chief King Itaurua and Titi Marai to give me the authority to use this flag from their tri tribe, Hapu, sub-tribes, to go to Westminster and raise it in Westminster. It's already on the treaty grounds in New Zealand, uh, on his land, on the crossbar of King William IV's Ship of Admiralty. Your flag, British flag, is flying beside this one on the opposite side and the Union Jack on top. That just shows proof, Boris, that we have a contract. A private contract, nobody's business. Just me and you, Foreign Minister, and me, the native, talking for native, and any other native who wishes to care to take this on board in other countries and raise it in Britain, in Westminster. I want to go to Britain as soon as possible, Boris. With your foreign policy kicked into light, straight off, that could be possible right now. We are ready to sail the seas. But once again, after 182 years, this flag has been flying, Boris. Unbroken continuity of sovereignty to Britain, UK, your government. Okay, that's a brand new one for you. And it's a brand new one from me. That we are ready to do business on a grand scale commercially all over the world. You'll notice on my website, Boris, moaipowerhouse.com, M O A I P O W E R H O U S E dot C O M, you'll see there, as soon as you open it up, the flags of 250 countries. This flag, Boris, is right in your foreign policy of trade and commerce. It is the only trading bank flag of Admiralty mortgage bank bow note gold coin trade development in the world. King flag, King of England, King of Britain, UK. We haven't used it since the government here thought different to apply their own side of the 1852 Constitution that they altered from Britain, UK, Westminster. We have that use of that 1852 Constitution as well. But this is the 1835 Constitution and everything wrapped up in a five pound note. Boris, I'm just saying, we have everything tied up in this flag of Admiralty, of a king, emperor. Four stars in the corners of the earth, four corners of the earth, north, east, south, west. The eight point star is what the Pope is using as his new world order, St. Patrick's order is on this flag. It was born out of this. The Pope is usurping the King's Admiralty mortgage laws to make his money. Boris, I want you to look into that because I'm making intentions to seize that title off him because the Queen gave it to him unconsciously, without thinking. It's damaging Britain. In fact, it's driven Britain to despair, and us too, your partner, to despair and despise what they have done to dismantle and destroy Westminster. That's the threat, Boris. And I want you to carefully look at that we have the ace card 
sitting right here, the other flag besides your British flag is this one. This is the commercial flag to take Britain round the world in those 250 countries straight off. That makes your job easier to negotiate commercial deals and trade with other countries. They trust the king than the queen. At the moment, the queen is in tatters with trying to negotiate with a gun in her hand. Okay, you'll see those pictures on my Facebook, Boris. And I'm putting John Key here, Prime Minister of New Zealand, on notice. And the Queen on notice as well. Because they are abusing this Admiralty Law. And Obama's abusing the Admiralty Law. Ask yourself, who gave them authority? Who gave them the authority to abuse the Admiralty Law when they are not Admirals? It's a King's Admiral, not a Queen's Vice Admiral, that controls what happens to this authority. Now, I want you to make <coughs> this in Parliament a order on the floor to allow me to come in to bring this flag to explain where it fits inside the Greater Britain, Britain in the world and its authority. I can speak for its authority as your partner and as King William's spokesman representing his partner. I wish to nominate King Ernest Augustus the fifth. Boris, he's already living there in England, oblivious to everything going on, while he could be in there right now to replace the Queen with my consent from my chiefs here, to allow him to go in there as a default contract of the Queen has broken her contract with the Treaty of Waitangi here that contract, two contracts here, Boris, a queen, and her Maori iwi mirror image of us, the king's hapu chiefs. So they've neatly taken some Maori and fashioned them into their titles, which is assumed titles on these lands. I'm challenging the assumed Queen's titles and John Key. Where does he get authority from against the Hapu Chief's King title flag? You'll notice, Boris, that John Key tried to get the public on his side to put a fern flag up to replace any other flag on this land to take it for their elite people. Didn't work, it backfired. The same fashion of EU Parliament backfiring on their private interests ahead of national countries' interests. Okay? They put their private commercial investment bank interests ahead of the citizens of Britain and the Commonwealth countries and New Zealand interests on our own native land. They don't have clear title for us. So, in saying so, I just want to bring to your attention the New World Order threat looming now on the 16th. This is a public statement, Boris, to you. Being Foreign Minister is very important on the relations between one country and the other. I'm talking to you direct from New Zealand. This is our country. This is not John Key and his elite family's country. He is purporting to think that everybody thinks it's his country and selling it off with the Governor General, Jerry Mataprai Andrews. He's liable now, Boris. 
he's going to Britain to be the governor, to be the ambassador of New Zealand. I forbid that to happen in Britain while I'm holding this flag, higher authority than John Key holding a flag he doesn't want, the Union Jack flag that he's adopted and cut his sovereignty off to Britain. They're sailing on their own without a paddle. At least you've got two paddles, Boris, for your ship of admiralty in Britain and a military to go with it. Okay, so I'm saying that John Key is liable now with the pound note that we have with this flag, Boris. There's a number of things inside this flag important Instruments, legal instruments tied up in this flag. We can write what we like on the pound note as levy debtor to Britain to recover. Your British military is obligated to recover what I write on a pound note as against fraud people. Boris, I think you've got a few of those lying around in Westminster. I want to come there and help you clean them out. And also the House of Lords. Uh, there's a lot of fraud in there. This pound note will do it with this flag. That's what I'm saying. Let me come into Westminster Parliament, open the way, and let me go through there to represent my chiefs here and Kingi Taurua, waiting patiently for me to get there. I'm going through my barrister, Shannon Withers, from Vulcan Chambers. You can check up with that. And come there, sit down, and let's get into business. I'm good with business, been self-employed for a few years, over 30 years, in the uh, engineering field, now the energy field, in tidal turbines in Britain, in Margate, I want to go there. I've got a friend up there that I've been talking to, uh, that will be on our committee there, and our Maui King William Party political party. I'm in politics, Boris, so that's going to be a plus in your government. Let me come there and I'll set it up. I have people there that can put that together with me. A straight native to here to every other native country in the world will be a better opening this way to deal with their country on that level, on a native level, back to Britain, back to basics. Boris, back to basics. That's what I want to happen here between me and you. <clears throat> All right. So I've been so used to being in front of camera, not so much a big camera, but a little camera, to get this message across <clears throat> to Britain that it's very serious uh, of what I say. And until someone comes up with something better, then I haven't seen it yet. Much to say, Boris, that it's my word against anybody's word. And that's good enough to trust in what I say. If no one says anything, it's true. Just like I say in my opening oath uh, to God and to Moai statue. That's the last bit I want to talk about, the statue of Maui. Memorial from East Ireland is our native title, standing in London, in Queen Elizabeth Great Court in London. That's a image of God's face, law, L-O-R-E, truth, spirit. That's what's missing, Boris, someone to stand beside that. I'm going there to stand beside it and to project our native connection to land, the stand underneath the body of the statue is the ahu, that's the basement, base, and the whenua underneath is the land. In fact, he's standing on land that belongs to us. You see, he's put there by purpose from Queen Victoria in 1868. That's when America lost its sovereignty to Britain. So a number of things I'm proficient in, and that's one of them, Boris, on an end note, that I'm acting here for that memorial title to God's earth, four corners of the earth. 
with King William in your monarch sovereign there. King Ernest Augustus V, King of Britain, UK, Hanover. And here, Pacific Islands and Aotea New Zealand. Okay, we are swearing our oath of office to him and his son, he's 68, uh, Boris, um, King Ernest Augustus is 68. And his son, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, is 38. That's roughly, I might be out of inch or two, but basically King William the Fourth was 68 when he became king in 1830 to 1837 reign. The law reforms happened in his term as reigning monarch. On the Bank of England Act, he passed and on the Power Note Currency Act, he passed those acts. We are implementing all those acts still. Boris, not in Britain, here in New Zealand, on Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court with the Chiefs. We are administering those laws to any pirates in a state of emergency now happening in America. They're using someone's authority, Boris. I want you to make note of that, that it's coming from their flag. The Queen's business, all her commercial activity under the Admiralty Mortgage Laws of the Sea comes from Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court with the Governor Generals of years gone by and the latest Governor General exiting conveniently to Britain to be the ambassador here, Jerry Mataparai Andrews. Okay, so I want to step in the middle of that and correct make a correction with the new Britain first on your foreign policy to add that bit in the end. The ambassador, I'm hoping that I'm going there to be the ambassador of New Zealand in Westminster. Okay, so I'm up to it. I got the credentials for that job and nothing's going to stand in my road from my chiefs saying so. Um, so they are waiting patiently for that to happen and to <coughs> seize this land off John Key's elite government and seize Waitangi Marae lands and lands in Auckland, King's Cook, Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, seize back into the King's Bench Court from the Queen's Bench Court. These are big statements that I make. There are bold statements I'm making without flinching an eye. I'm talking King's talk. King's talk in the meantime till the new king comes in. Not Prince William. He's not the right bloodline. He is Spanish father, real father and German lines. <clears throat> I'm saying King Ernest Augustus V is already the King of Britain, UK. He is already King. He was. He's just in waiting for someone to make a mistake, such as the Queen has made a mistake that sticks out now. She's only there waiting to take off into a bunker to hide or go straight into Brussels when the fan hits the proverbial. That's what I'm saying. I'm coming there to sack her from our Queen Victoria Trust, Boris. That's our inheritance. Gold Trust Fund. All the way back through to King Solomon's mines, inherited by William the Conqueror, inherited by King Ernest Augustus the first and his brother King William the fourth and his other brother King George the fourth and their father 
King George III, King of America. Can you see a pattern here? It was King William IV, before he became king in 1830, that set up New York and all that stock exchange stuff through this admiralty that wasn't commercially used yet. Okay, so all of those, I have all of that information at hand. When I come to Westminster, I'll just lay it right in front of you, the whole story of how this works. Okay, I've done my homework, Boris, on your country and this country and every other country in the world using Admiralty's law of the sea. So that's our business of merchant uh, trading and uh, manifest, bill of laden, uh, shipping, price positions of a king. Okay, King's Bench Court and King's Royal Revenue, King of the Sea, title is wrapped up in this flag commercial flag, Boris, and a Moai statue, two of the most powerful memorials in the world of commerce and land, Moai land title, native, to the countries that are where it's standing. Standing in London, standing in France, Belgium, New York City, Washington DC, Chile, New Zealand. North and South Island. South Island's got the crown on his head. Boris, Maui statue was picked up from Easter Island, the real ones, and brought to New Zealand. Crown on his head. When the immigrants got here, they knew what to get. Queen Victoria said, get one of those and you'll be right. See, you see what I mean? You see what I mean and what I'm saying? <coughs> That's my family. Moai statues. Tahitian royal family. The same as their royalty. It's just as royal as a family that's fraud. I'm talking about Queen Elizabeth and her fraudulent dealings with Pope Francis. And now he's thrown the Bible away, Boris. He's thrown the Bible away and thrown Jesus away and says, no more. He's still wearing a cross. And that's offensive to Sharia law, Sharia law, that he's promoting now. He said, no more, squash all the laws, all his uh, uh, Vatican laws, and come out with a new world order law that's looking quite different to what he had before. This is church I'm talking about, Boris. It's a long video, but I want to make it clear to you that all my videos have got substance in it. Until otherwise someone says it's not true, it's true. I'm talking true, making statements that the Pope is rampant on Admiralty law abuse. The Queen is rampant on Admiralty law of the sea abuse. Obama and America and the federal state government and the United Nations is rampant on the use of Admiralty court martial law in the sea use of the King's law. That's our law. That's our business. Boris, I want you to straighten it out and start talking with other countries and I'll necessarily come with you uh, into the United Nations. I'm going there as the customary legal advocate for the uh, Confederation of Chiefs of Tribes of Aotearoa New Zealand and their representatives, chiefs. I'm there to speak from this level from England as if I'm living in England. I'm going there to live in your country, Boris, to give it a bit of Manuka native element. <coughs> Just to <coughs> put the record straight. This is on the record for my barrister, Shannon Willis. I'm going to send you this video to put on the record here on the court, the, the Auckland District Court for Judge Collins and Judge Fraser, Grant Fraser, <coughs> that are making this statement that we have this flag to reassert its control 
and jurisdiction of admiralty, court martial law, state of emergency laws over any other law using admiralty of the King of England or King of Britain UK, either or are either laws that have been derived from Westminster Parliament with either of those kings, I said, the Emperor's kings, in particular King William the Fourth. Laws from 1830-1837 applies. For the record, on these lands in New Zealand and Pacific Islands, Shannon, I've enforced them already on the 15th of March 2016 inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court with the Chiefs and our administrators to enforce this flag and its jurisdiction of a state of emergency, declaration of independence, declaration of war flag of 1835 King William IV, laws and deeds and doctrines of discovery title of the Pacific Islands and the world for that matter of Maui statute, four corners of the earth, globe, discovered. Titles shall prevail over any other law out of Britain on a par. We are on a par with you, Boris. I'm saying that for the record here on this country and your country in Britain, that we are on a par with you with this flag and its law and its constitution, 1835, and its jurisdiction, sovereignty and monarchy of Moai statute, native, indigenous title, to this whole planet Earth and King William's King's Emperor title to the New World Order, eight point star, St. Patrick's star on this flag as being connected to you in Britain, Westminster Law of today. <coughs> Uh, as being our situation as current today. I'm saying it's passed in law here, what I'm saying, with the currency being pound note, on a par with yours pound note at the moment, this Rothschild's bank pound note, we want to discard and put in our own King William the Fourth, pound note with Moai statue, the title in Britain. If there's any other memorial higher than that, God's law, then I haven't seen anything yet. So I'm applying that jurisdiction of God's law and authority, high authority of the spirit law, there, right there, and not in Vatican City. The Vatican City has stolen all its treasures from other countries and taken the obelisks off Africa and while it was in the king's control of finding and founding of Africa doctrines of discovery and also Africa and India <coughs> and um, South America New Zealand Pacific Islands Canada Australia all the Commonwealth countries comes under this flag of authority, of superior emperor's law. Boris, that's what I'm saying, I'm speaking on that level. Two of the highest memorials in the world of jurisdiction, with two flags, my Scotty flag, this flag, and your British flag, and nothing else. It's a private contract between me and you, what I say on this video, to the public, is not private but public knowledge and information put out there for anyone to dispute or rebut. If you cannot dispute it, it's true, Boris. Take it my word. It's true. And for the record here, for Shannon, I will email this video to you as proof of claim of what I say to John Key 
in this country that he has hidden agendas with the EU Parliament to shut down Westminster Parliament and get rid of our authority by brute force. And we have caught him out. We have caught him in the act of TPPA signing without our authority under this flag. And you, in Britain, he has liable the Queen, he has liable other countries he's dealt with in the Commonwealth. You'll have to fix Boris. You'll have to fix that up because it's got our trademark on it. It's got England's trademark cross on it. And the Vatican's cross on it as being the Queen and the Pope has <coughs> disarranged or um, bastardised the British Westminster Parliament and all the paedophiles and everything else going on in there. They're going to flush out with their flag and us standing in there beside you. Okay, that's what I'm saying on this video uh, to uh, Shannon. Take heed that I will be requiring you to get a writ of execution started because this execution is to take 77 Cook Street off those fraud people uh, name on videos straight to you Boris in England because you're part of this business of recovering all the debts that I'm saying on a bound note is credited back into your coffers and ours on our bank account and your bank account. I'm saying <coughs> that I'm there as responsible uh, representative to this country's uh, financial interests against any foreign threat and conflict, which is plain to see now there is conflict right in the middle of the British government. Why you've gone back from EU and gone back home. Um, we're coming there with you to improve that home and our brand name. Our brand name is Maui Statue, native, and our brand name is a king. King Ernest Augustus. I'm nominating him on the record. For the record, Shannon, I'm nominating King Ernest Augustus V to the crown to the throne of England, Britain, UK, Commonwealth, world, government of the world under this flag of jurisdiction, continuity of sovereignty, continuity of sovereignty of the king to king to king to king, no queens, kings. And in our Tahitian culture, it's the male line dominant so that you don't lose the title to the man. All the titles are forfeited, 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 uh, forfeited, um, Boris, back to the King's Bench Court. So that's what I'm expressing here to Shannon in transition of powers from the Queen's Bench Court to the King's Bench Court and still in that court. Is I'm conveying the message to Britain to acknowledge our relationship is not changed since 1835. 28th of October 1835 will be raising this flag up then or before that date in this country to the top of the flag staff of the Admiralty ship of Britain on our land. Your ship is stuck on our land. You won't find another British ship beside a courthouse anywhere in the world but here. That's the Queen's business, business hidden here for all her fraud, corrupted transactions in the world we seize. Boris, with the pound note, okay? We have the pound note online, you can see it there. It's legal now because we've made it legal inside that marae and we're taking the marae over as business confiscated under the Confiscation Act of 1838 and 1837 Acts of piracy uh, and treason, right? Those are two things that John Key we're accusing of in the High Court of Admiralty in London. I've lodged those complaints back 
way back in 2012, in that court with Judge David Lindsay Mackey. And all I'm going to do is pick it up there, Boris, and put it through as credit. We are the creditor, Boris. That's what I'm trying to say here. And they are the debtors. They're, he's got this country in $118 billion of debt. And America is in trillions of debt. That's been designed that way. It's a bad side. That's what I'm saying. You're better to trust the king instead of trusting the queen. Because the queen abandoned ship of admiralty law in Britain and gone into the EU Parliament, now in conflict with everything she does. I want to do an audit, Boris. I want you to file into the Parliament, or whether I'll do it myself in Parliament. I want to go there as a politician as well, in the Parliament, to talk for our natives here and around the world. I want to go there and talk for all the natives in the world because our title is the same as their native title being alienated for its wealth and its country and its people and its DNA. Okay, All of those things, the plants, the fish, the sky, have been poisoned by the Queen and the Pope and the Rothschild banks. Okay, So we want to change that and implement the old Britain and make it great again. That's what I wanted to, to do here. But I wanted to uh, say in these lineup before this video runs out, because it will run out at three gigabytes, and I think it may be coming up to the end. I'll let it run out without saying goodbye to you. Uh, but I'll say my goodbyes to you now, Boris, um, that I uh, wish you well in your job. And I'm hoping that we can meet ASAP to get this flag going and get Britain going right into 250 countries. I've set it all up online, but I just needed to get one land box sorted, one crown land. These thing, lands in Auckland are gifted lands. They are under the title of British title, not New Zealand's, uh, New South Wales titles. Lynn's Land Information New Zealand titles is a straight British title being fraudulent on the land transactions. That's the part I want to get that, and it'll go right through the world. The house domino effect, the uh, house of cards will fall after that. And I'm just making this for the record here in the Auckland District Court that I have a court case going now, Boris, on myself. They picked on the wrong person, like you. Don't pick on you, a, parach a parachutist that knows how to land the wrong way out. Uh, so, uh, laughs aside, I think that was humorous. Uh, I'm saying that we are going to get this one right with land title to put it in order. This is the New World Order flag. Boris, I'm taking the New World Order title from the Pope because of what he did to Britain. He has ruined Britain and ruined the world and now ruining, making them all fight. Soros and all those people uh, and and Clinton uh, trying to break the law and get away with it. And I'm thankful that Trey Gowdy and all the rest of the senators in, in, in America are coming down hard on those elite people that have been bastardizing the British law and us, the recipient of your law, the other half of you. Okay? Okay, Boris, does that make it quite clear from my point of view here? I um, know lots of people watch, and you're a popular man, and I want to make that uh, um, our <coughs> trademark, trademark and um, um, icon, or whatever you call it, um, uh, theme, that uh, we'll push things along in popularity of people wanting something that you've got, and that's what I'm saying. We can share this together and make this trade work. So this is what I'm going to say uh, since I've just uh, said my goodbye to you. I'm just back now on to Shannon, our barrister in Auckland. Um, come and see you on Monday uh, rather than Friday because I've got all this to do and also to head off the um, 
um, New World Order uh, being enforced on the 16th of July 2016, that's in two days' time, that law kicks in. It's forbidden to come here, Boris. It's, it's forbidden to come here or go anywhere where we've got a financial interest with you in Britain. So that's going to kick in from this Marae here where the Queen's been operating. We're kicking her out of there. We're sacking her out of here. We're sacking John Key from off the land and with his administration bring the British straight in, the military, straight in on my land blocks down the east coast, in Rangituki, and also bring the law straight in to take over this country. Right? I want you to come in. We'll, we'll apply our law at the same time with Britain. I want you to enforce this right now from Britain in Westminster and start the process off with uh, Theresa May. If she's not um, popular, then with uh, certainly with Andrea uh, Leadsom, uh, my, my, my choice. Uh, I will be talking to her if I'm over there um, or anyway online to support her on the way because I can't think of anybody else straight enough, straight enough um, to do this job. Okay, so now I'll say to um, Shannon, I hope you take note of what I'm saying because I want to clear Cook Street out and take those landowners into jail with John Key and his ministers that I'm accusing um, online. They're on Facebook. You can see that I'm putting those precedent cases in, in America at least and those other countries. I've put them on Facebook and it's saying there that it's admissible in those Supreme Courts in America evidence um, from what's said, what I'm saying or what I'm writing about and people are reading it or listening to it. Right? But this video is proof of me, the real John Wanoa, and me, what I'm saying, is true on behalf of who I represent, the chiefs of the tribes of Aotearoa, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands. Okay, I'm including the Pacific Islands because of the Moai Statute, founding doctrines of discovery title to the whole Pacific, right, and straight to Britain. Right? So standing in those powerful countries is us, okay? So uh, to end this video off, I just wanted to go through this list of things before it runs out, okay? Excuse me if the video runs out, but I'll try and squash this right in the end. Um, congratulations to um, Boris uh, Johnson for being Foreign Policy Minister of the new British UK government. Two, you have weathered the British political storm to now more foreign trade ahead from Britain in the face of EU super one state government control. In other words, he's taken Britain with UKIP and Nigel Farage, thanks to you for getting Britain and us out of the frying pan and into the open with freedom here looming right in front of you. Three, Britain, UK is uh, lingering on Scotland's exit. Made clear they remain in the EU with Northern Ireland and Ireland. So they've made their intentions to go and we're not waiting around for two years. Right, we're going straight into making the new Britain great again. Four, makes only England, Wales, uh, sh your ship of admiralty, law of the sea, with only two paddles. Boris, that was for Boris. Um, two countries holding Britain together. Five, Britain, UK is still holding the legal authority of King of England, King of William the Fourth, Admiralty Laws of 1830-1870 reign. We are in a private contract with Britain, UK. I made you aware of this. 
still current, if you are making these statements on this week. As the only commercial trading bank of England, King Flag in the world that will trade, will take Britain, UK, on a free passage through the world if we now team up with you, um, a rugby mad um, man taking up the position with us direct to Britain. I'm just talking about Boris being a rugby player. Um, um, he's passionate about rugby and so are his New Zealand. So are we with all blacks. Okay, so that's what I'm saying there. Just to um, acknowledge Boris as being a good man. Five, the Queen um, committed Britain and the natives here um, compromised. The Queen compromised Britain and the natives here by exiting to EU with Pope Francis. Protestant and Catholic Church politics now saturated in war and trying to control the world through stealth alienation of land war induced politics. So the Queen has looked after her own um, um, private interests in wealth and taken it with her. I want to do an audit, uh, Shannon, on HM Treasury. I, I was going there for that in 2012 before this happened with Cook Street. I should have been there auditing uh, HM Treasury. I'm going there to do that and audit the Treasury here, New Zealand Treasury building this. We'll soon find where all the money went and who's been stealing it, okay? Same with Hillary Clinton. This applies to Hillary Clinton too, this flag. will supersede Obama's law once that kicks in, in Britain, the new Britain. I have problems with Theresa May, still with Israel, and the elite part, whereas Andrea Lidsom is the opposite. Tending to keep with Andrea as being the Prime Minister. It's going to go that way if Kip, UKIP takes command of referendums against Theresa May. But I'm going with whatever the, the British Prime Minister says at the moment, this we can't do much, then the foreign policies. All right? And Boris, you. Six, I want to use our King William IV Admiralty jurisdiction. Constitution flag, 1835, Declaration of Independence, State of Emergency flag, Sovereign Authority, to decommission the Queen's usurping the powers of this flag through the Governor-General here, Jerry Matabrai, Andrews, and get the British UK government to seize that power from her with me to authorise it from our native half of our contract with you. We don't have a contract with the Queen, we have a contract with the King. The Maori iwi, which is being fabricated by the Crown, the Queen's people, is the levy debtors. We are the levy creditors, Shannon, that I'm just saying to Boris, will write on the pound note the amount owed. Okay? Britain, UK government, as a threat against our national security. That's what's happened with the Queen. She's put the country at risk. And we are exercising our authority to seize it off her and put it back into control of the people of Britain and Commonwealth countries of the world and us, New Zealand. National compromise in uh, um, the national security and conflict of interest to citizens of Britain, while in transition of power from the EU back to Britain, UK, we are correcting that um, with this video uh, statement. Seven, we have two uh, con contracts here in New Zealand law. One is the Treaty of Waitangi, 1840 treaty, between Iwi Maori and the Queen, the Crown Corporations. Crown private corporation.